Hello Forex Fortune Hunters. We're going to use uh, our time together now for a quick review of how we modify indicators. Uh, this will be another in our series of short videos uh, on our quick tour of MetaTrader. So on this particular chart as you can see we have a number of indicators in place. We have multiple moving averages, we have our chandelier, we have a, an MACD, stochastic, and an RSI in the oscillator panes down below. And if we should decide we want to change uh, or modify the input values or the colors or the thickness or any of that, uh, all we have to do is right click on the chart. And then uh, there are a number of choices. <clears throat> There's some one click trading opportunities. We'll avoid those for now. Uh, we can go to periodicity here, but that's already up in the upper uh, corner of our screen in terms of these icons. So now we have two opportunities, either objects or indicators, and we'll go to the indicator list. And in this particular list, we can see that we have on this main chart all of these indicators in place that we've added, and they have uh, in, in combination with our oscillators, the MACD, Stochastic, and Relative Strength Index, those have been assembled into, gathered into a collection, uh, and uh, that becomes then a template. And, uh, and we'll get to that in a second. But in any event, if we have this particular moving average, let's see which one it is. We want to come up here after we left click it, we'll come up and edit and we can see that we've picked the 16 which is one of the green ones showing on the chart it's a it's a single thickness indicator a line uh, representing that exponential moving average you can see it's exponential because that's what it's set to here and we've applied the average calculation to the closing value of each candle okay shift gets into whether it's moved left or right we don't want to bother with that we'll keep things simple Okay, so now we have a situation where if we'd like to change that, we can see that we have two lime green lines here on the chart, and we have one dotted yellow line. And what we'll do just to, to uh, make a uh, demonstration is we're going to make that line magenta, and we're going to raise the value of it to another thickness. We're going to click OK, and you can see that that 16 now becomes this thick line just so that you can uh, see it better. Perhaps you just would like a better visual clue, whatever you want to do. Okay. Now, uh, it's also true as we, we can also double click on the line and that will bring that up. You can grab it. So you, the shortcut is if you decide you do not want to right click and go to indicators, then what you could do is simply grab the indicator itself and then move it. Let's m turn it back to green. I think I chose Lime before. We'll move it back to its original state and we'll say OK. Now let's say that we wanted to uh, try to see if there was some way to replace the chandelier with a longer term moving average. Uh, we could either click on the chandelier and then, uh, let's see, click on it. Here we go. Right click on it and it will bring it up and delete it. So we'll get it off our chart now. And by the way, if we go back to our template, if you make a mistake, our Fortune 100 template is in place, so we pull down on template. Here it is, this particular icon here, templates. We would go back to Fortune 100, and it would add also the, uh, the um, session times. We'll get rid of those just for a second. Now we're back, and we have put the chandelier back in place. But let's say that we wanted to see if there's another kind of an indicator we could use in a, uh, separately from chandelier. We might want to use a long-term moving average. We go to indicators. Moving average is one of the stock ones. We could select a custom indicator if we wanted, but here's moving average. And let's say instead of 16, now we want, that's just the default value that's left there. Let's say we want to add a 100 linear moving average just to see if we can get some longer term view of how the market is reacting. Maybe we'll do this and then this time we'll make it a dashed line. Okay? And you can see now our 100 means that with a flat 100 line during the day uh, on the Euro USD during this particular time on the 22nd of June, let's see when that was, 
On the 22nd of June was the uh, Monday of this week. Uh, we're in a situation where we had a gap up on Sunday night from the low position. We pulled back into the bands and we continued. But the bottom line is that over the course of the week, things were actually very flat. And you can uh, use a longer term moving average like uh, and uh, in place of the chandelier should you wish to know what the basic trend is. You can keep an opportunity here. You can see we're headed downwards. We clearly want to be very careful about our uh, taking a long position anytime this line is moving this way on a, on a 30 minute chart simply because we can see that we've dropped off dramatically and we have some significant space between here and the 24. So I hope that's a helpful uh, indicator uh, manipulation video for you, and good luck with your trading. We'll see you in the next episode.